Chapter 15 Multiple Floor Roof The next roof is once again a complex design that spans multiple floors. Further complicating the design of this roof is the fact that the roofs overlap with one another, making for difficult placement of the reference circles. To begin, open the Roof Options dialog and modify the pitch to 10 inches. Select Multiple Floor Roof to overlay the main floor plan. A quick review of the 3D model shows the various wall heights and the beam which will support the front porch roof. Select Draw Auto Roof. Due to the overlapping roofs at the front of the house, the roof will not be able to be applied using this method. Using the Trace Roof command, sketch the outline of the second floor roof excluding the covered porch and the turret. Sketch with care, so as to include the two short vertical roof edges along the front of the house. One of the vertical roof edges lies on the right wall of the turret, and the other lies to the left of the porch beam. This is necessary in order to place a hip roof along the front of the house, to which the roof on the turret and the porch roof will valley. Since the reference circle is placed at the midpoint of the traced roof edge, use the Adjust Item command to move the reference circle to the front wall of the porch. The reference circle of the short vertical roof edge to the left of the porch is referencing the beam. It should reference the wall to the left of the porch. Use the Adjust Item command to move the reference circle to reference the wall. A quick review of the model shows the current roof. Next, select Draw, Add Roof. The Add Roof command allows for the selection of a curved wall. Position the cursor over each of the walls of the turret to add the roof and click. When all of the walls are selected, right click. The roof will be built. The curved portion of the roof will automatically generate with the proper number of reference circles needed. The front elevation shows the curved roof. Note that the beams are also shown here at a higher elevation. Using Add Roof again, perform the same steps on the beams making up the covered front porch. Even though the beam and the roof occupy the same space, the beam has been designed as the object to be referenced. By using Add Roof to add the porch roof, it can be certain that the correct bearing material is selected. Once again, a quick review of the elevation shows the roofs on the turret and the porch. Zoom in to add the roof to the left of the house. Select Draw, Trace Roof. The design calls for a gable roof running left to right and then a gable running front to back for the small bump out. Sketch the perimeter of the roof omitting the front portion. Select Move, Adjust Item. Reposition the reference circle at the front of this roof to reference the wall to the right.
Using trace roof, sketch the perimeter of the front roof. By adding two separate roofs, and not just tracing one roof, the left roof edge can have two roof styles associated with it. The main roof section will be a gable, and the roof at the front will be hipped on the left side. Right-click and use the Apply Gable tool as necessary. 